Hello everybody, and welcome back to Cam Critiques. I've got a bit of a different video from what I usually upload today, but I encountered something bizarre while playing Spelunky 2 online, and thought this oddity was video worthy. I have two normal online runs shown on screen right now, correct? Two games, from two different sessions with the same two players? Well, that's actually not what's happening at all. What if I told you that these games were actually being played simultaneously among two people in a single online session? Take a closer look at how each character is moving. That's right, despite being in two completely different games that aren't even on the same level, both characters are moving the exact same way between the screens. This brings us to the topic of this video today, a glitch a friend and I discovered that we've deemed Schrodinger's Cat, named after the circumstances that led to its occurrence. For a while, me and this friend of mine are having the standard Spelunky 2 multiplayer experience, with no major glitches or issues of any kind. However, at some point, something extremely strange happened. I saw a crate underground, so I placed a bomb hoping to obtain its contents. I was then asked by my friend why I blew up the cat. After a bit of discussion, the truth became clear. Somehow, someway, we'd ended up in a level that had generated almost exactly the same. Except where he saw a cat, I saw a crate. Before we both left the level, we saw each other turn into ghosts at around the same time, if not the exact same time. At first I assumed a simple disconnect had happened, but then I noticed that the ghost started to move. To those unaware, when a player disconnects from an online Spelunky 2 session, their ghost remains until the remaining players progress to the next level, though it does not move aside from being dragged along by the screen boards. As I moved to the next level, my friend's ghost did not disappear, so I seeked out the nearest coffin and used it to revive him. Somehow it worked, and he was once again moving in my game. I thought maybe he was an AI, a hired hand in disguise like the result of cloning a player with the clone gun. However, the more I looked at his movements, the more I noticed something was off. He was jumping against a wall, randomly whipping, making no progress whatsoever, and eventually he placed down a bomb, killing himself. It was here that I realized what might be happening. I asked my friend if he had placed down a bomb, and lo and behold, he had. He had seen similar oddities with me, so we decided to stream the games for each other over Discord. Here we were able to confirm our suspicions. Each and every one of our movements lined up exactly between the two streams, though we were in entirely different levels and entirely different games. Upon this discovery, we were dumbfounded for a multitude of reasons. Obviously, the delay of online on PC supposedly happened because of desync issues, but I've never heard of any desync on the level of this. I was under the impression that the generation of Spelunky 2 levels was based on a set C that should generate a level, the same exact way every time. Seated runs are an option, and the daily challenge is also something they offer. But having two levels that are identical, aside from what was placed on only one tile, makes it seem like it may not truly be the case. Secondly, at what point did something go wrong, and why? I imagine it would have had to be when we both spontaneously became ghosts on each other's screens. But then why did the difference in level generation happen before that? And if something went wrong when we entered the level, why weren't we initially ghosts? It just made no sense. We were able to discover that the game seemed to be sharing controller inputs for each character constantly. It wasn't just mimicking the movement of a living character. So if the player was a ghost on their screen and alive on the other, they could still control the living player on the other screen with normal controls. Even though pressing the jump button didn't cause them to jump on their screen as a ghost, it would cause them to jump on the screen where they were alive. And when I say constantly, I do mean constantly. If one player paused on their screen and held right, their mirror on the other screen would run to the right. Take a look at this, even after my friend had beaten the game, he could control his character from the end screen. Sadly, this is when our experience with the glitch finally ended, as finishing a run boots you out of online in Spelunky 2. But there was no indication the game would end any earlier despite these massive problems. They persisted through multiple runs, multiple deaths, multiple different levels for both of us. We were able to play for a solid 30 minutes. I'm still completely perplexed by this glitch, and my friend is too. We've never encountered anything like this before, and we still can't comprehend how this could even happen. If you know anything about what could have caused something like this, please let me know in the comments, I'm dying to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video and think you'd be interested in my critique style content that I usually do, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video, subscribe, comment, and or watch some of my other stuff. Thank you all for watching, and have a great rest of your day.